Oh. When a child, child, can, children can easily discern that Halloween is not a good thing. They have to be taught from a young age that it's actually okay, no, it's fun, no, let's do that. Anyone who, who has been a parent and had young children, when you grow up and you go out to the store, right, because now, now it's that time of year, all the stores have all their Halloween junk out. And they'll have the skeletons, right? And these just weird faces and these, these demonic things. And the kids, all of my kids, they go to the store and they're, they're scared of that stuff. And like, what is it? I wish they didn't have to have that stuff out. Why? Because that's their natural instinct because that stuff is wicked. You have to teach them, oh no, but see, this is Halloween. I know normally that's all scary stuff, bad stuff, you want me to do, but now it's just okay. For this month, for this day, you know, we're just going to say all the things that are kind of weird and abnormal and, and perverted and wicked and evil. Today it's okay to do that. Wrong. It's not okay. And that's why I tell, we, you know, we tell our kids, this is what some people do, but it's wicked as hell and we're going to have nothing to do with it. And I'm sorry that you have to even be exposed to this stuff because it's not right that, that children should have to even just go out in public and just see all this garbage. It's scary. I mean, it, it gives kids nightmares just seeing these things. Halloween, you see the skeletons, the gravestones, the zombies, right? Carcasses, whatever people want to use to, to, to make their house look extra scary and, and whatever. We see the guy here, he lived among the gravestones, but that wasn't something that, that anyone should be putting up as, as being a cool thing. Turn if you go to Proverbs chapter number 8. So the first point is just this glorification and glamorization of death. with the skeletons, with the gravestones, with that type of stuff, death. Halloween glorifies death. We'll see what the Bible says about that, about people who love death. Proverbs chapter 8. Now, just to give you the context, because all of chapter 8 basically is, is the personification of wisdom. So all of, of chapter 8, it's, 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 you know, wisdom crying in the streets, and, you know, I'm calling and stuff, and, and, and you read through. It's a poetic chapter, but it's all about having wisdom, right? And even in verse number 12, you see, I, wisdom. So it's, it's wisdom speaking in the first person. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. And then it continues on, but then jump down to verse number 36. Because that's what this whole passage is about, uh, Proverbs 8. Verse 36 says, But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. You know what that tells me? People who love death and want to glorify death and think it's a real cool thing, they're fools. Why? Because they hate wisdom. They hate knowledge. They hate... Read Proverbs 8. They, they hate it. Because, they, they, and, because why would you love death? You have to be a fool to love death. Death is not a good thing. What, is, what do you get when you get saved? Eternal life. That's a good thing. Having, having everlasting life, good. Death, eternal death, bad. I know, we're, we're making things just real elementary because the fact that I even have to get up and preach a sermon about Halloween, we ought to break things down. We've got a weird, twisted society that's... I, I don't even know. I don't know the full history on how this has ever become acceptable and accepted in the culture. But it's bizarre. It's totally bizarre. It's totally satanic and wicked. 